Hey guys, again welcome to this video. Uh, this video is the second part of the NIS streaming configuration. So earlier the video uh, we have uh, learned this what is NIS, what is the uh, value of uh, to configure NIS, and this is one of the best feature in the Windows Server 2012 R2, right? So before starting this video again, I just remember to remi remind to you if you wanted to you know. Uh, putting and uh, asking any question on this video please uh, put in comments uh, and uh, if you like this video please do not forget to like this video if you wanted to get this video on your mail uh, whenever i upload the new video please subscribe the video definitely will get the this video so uh, please come to this uh, topic uh, for the second video this is the second video so earlier if you if you if you see just i just flash back to this video we have learned this thing right what are the profits bandwidth aggregation and the traffic failover to prevent connected loss in the event of network component failure so this is two things will get right how we get these two things this is what the nice team understand that thing so this is my server and this is the virtual nic okay these are the three nic cards and this is my switch right and this is called the teaming solution what the teaming solution will do when we create the nic teaming what the teaming solution will provide if one nic will be down the second things will off if the second will second will down then the third will be off so there is no chances of loss of connectivity in our environment right so this is to what nic is teaming right and the second and the slide the standby and active so you while we configure this uh, uh, you know nic so you will get this uh, kind of uh, terminologies that is the standby and active okay what active and uh, uh, standby means see there are the two scenario i have given over here one is this is one scenario and second is this one so here one is active and one is standby but here both are active means what exactly guys see i'm telling you there isn't much if you someone will think about it there isn't no much difference but yes it's a huge difference what is that i will tell you but see uh, in this uh, uh, in this active scenario what see uh, there are two NIC card is right if one NIC card will down then definitely it will come to the second NIC second active NIC right so this is definitely uh, you know failover as it's a load balancing it's a clustering type right so we never uh, get the fail right uh, failure connectivity right it should continuous right and the second thing also what if an one NIC active card will be down definitely it will come to standby so this is the same thing but what is that active and standby means yes active gives the maximum throughput to you but standby used when primary fails down then that time will work the standby right but in active is what we have a two nic card i told you earlier also one nic is having the one gb per second and second nic also having the speed of one gb per second right if one nic will work it's uh, working right uh, so it's transport the data uh, 1 GB per second. No, it's transport the data 2 GB per second because it's 2 NIC are active, right? If you think over it, it's 2 NIC are active. That's what you're you getting the data uh, within 2 GBPS per second because it's it's give the you know the cards are used for the maximum throughput, right? But here, what no, it's one is active, right? So you will get the data only the 1 GBPS per second, not 2 GBPS. But Second is what? It's a standby, right? If second is what? It's standby. It is not work. If one is down, then the standby will be off. So this is what? At the standby and the active. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, I will see you on the next video. And we will learn this, uh, uh, some new things of this and I streaming. So thanks for once again. Uh, thanks for watching this video. So if you wanted to like this video, do not forget to like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.